Winter Haven chain, MLF style, so stick around. That's good enough. So this morning, we're on Lake Ship. We're gonna do a bunch of different things today. I haven't fished this lake in about oh, 10 or 12 years. Last time I was here, I did pretty good in a tournament. I think I finished second with 16 pounds, which I didn't think was gonna do very well at all, and it turned out to be second place, so what do I know? Um, but we're gonna start, we got a cloud cover this morning, starting with some top water, working around some pads. We're gonna work around the mouth of the, all of the canals, trying to find some current. And then we may wind up offshore on uh, some of the deeper holes. Some of these lakes are very, very deep. They're spring fed, they're very clear. So that'll be a completely different strategy. But for now, we're starting off shallow and in a big pad field. So uh, stick around. Fish coming to the boat. Good job, Josh. On the frog. Oh, it came off. Small. Well, we're doing the right thing at least. So let's see I, if I, I felt I felt this uh oh, real drag. seat get loose. Sorry about that. It wasn't drag, it was the real seat coming loose. Uh, oh look. It's gonna be on camera, get him. And somebody uh fishing from the uh, bank kind of loaded one. What's your name, buddy? Winston? Quincy. Yeah, you're on camera. <laughs> Boating a big fish. Well, landing a big fish. What'd you catch him on? Um, a worm? Just turning out behind us. Ooh, tick, tick, tick. If you don't mind, I'll put you in the video. If you go to YouTube in about a week, you'll be able to see yourself catch a fish. You can prove to your girlfriend that you were actually fishing this morning. <laughs> Instead of what she's going to accuse you of doing, we're going to get past you here. Let you have these fish. I got a YouTube channel. It's it's A E Fishing. Yeah, artificial entertainment. Like on the side of the boat. Takes me about a week to get them up, but you'll be in it. No, we, we just got, got out here. here. That was the first bite we just had. Yeah. You're the only one that's caught a fish so far. <laughs> Good luck to you, Quincy. All right, this is a good spot for you and a frog here coming up. Yeah, just got <coughs> need some room to cast is all. Ooh. Hello. That's, that's a bridge. Found it. <laughs> Ding. Cha-ching. It's like the Taco Bell bell. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. Run for the border. So we've been fishing five minutes. We saw Quincy catch a fish. Mm -hmm. You I lost one missed one boat. on a toad. Yeah. First spot, things look promising. Um, famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. Let's get that frog bite going. So we're in the uh, we're in the canal between Ship and Lake May. Uh, Ship is your typical Florida lake, saucer, 10, 12 feet deep in the middle, completely ringed with grass, got some offshore stuff. Lake May, on the other hand, is a mud puddle. It's about five feet deep max completely surrounded by pads, or it was the last time I was here. We'll see when we get around the corner here. But it's a fun topwater lake, or at least it used to be. So why are we fishing the Winter Haven chain today? Two reasons, really. One, the boat was filthy, so I pulled it out of the water yesterday to try to get some of the green pollen from all the cypress trees off of it. And it was already on the trailer, so I decided, well, why not try something different? And two, 
for the last two months I've been making videos on the Kissimmee chain where we're not caught a whole lot of anything and <laughs> I'm sure you guys are tired of watching it. I know I'm tired of filming it so we thought we'd give you something different today so we're gonna work around the south end of the southern Winter Haven chain and show you a little bit about the lake and how we would attack it kind of from a an MLF perspective where we don't have a lot of history at least recent history. I do know the lakes pretty well. I said I fished them quite a bit in the 2000s but I haven't been out here in a while. So we already got a bite and we're gonna keep working our way into Lake May here and see if we can find a topwater bite. So stick around, Captain. Stick fish. I got a stick. First one coming to the boat. Stick fish. Now we're in the canal between Lake Ship and Lake Lulu. We went into Lake May and although it looked great, and there was a lot of bait moving around. Had a gar bite and that was about it. We came back in the ship, worked around the mouth of the canal coming into Lulu. Now we're coming through the canal going into Lake Lulu from ship. There's three or four bridges on it. A couple choke down points. There is some current running in here. Uh, it's just, it's kind of slow, but there have been fish moving. There has been some bait and we've had a few bites. So stick around. There's one. Oh, that's a good one, Josh. Pulls down. On the jig. Come here, buddy. Swing it up here, Josh. I get it. Oh, you got it? Good job, don't break that tip. Nope. So I made sure to grab the line. Fish number one in the boat. Come on, give me the jig Chunky back. two pounder, give me the jig back. Get it back. I hooked him in the cartilage in the jaw, so it's kind of, no, hand me some pliers. I get him out. Deep enough to where I can't pop it out. So we found some man-made shade under a bridge. Working down this canal, and Josh is throwing a Seabird Outdoor swim jig. And Whoa. it might have been his second or third cast with it, and it got whacked. So, yeah. First fish in the boat. Awesome. Let me uh, I'll take him up front. Yeah. First fish in the boat. Good job, clean, Josh. Clean fish, too. Not a lot going on there. Pretty bass. Thank you for playing, sir. Good job, Josh. One. Oh, there's a bite. There you go. Here's my first non gar bite. <laughs> Fish number two in the boat. On, oh, easy, Sippy. On a watermelon red thumper. It just works. It does. For some reason, just they just works. love it. This happens to be the floating thumper. This is the, hey, easy. This is the floating thumper. But I've got it pegged with a 3 16 weight, so the tail floats up higher. Mm -hmm. But he wanted it. This number two. Oh, what have we got? 839? Two fish in the boat in the last 10 minutes? Yeah, in 100 yards. In 100 yards. So the canal bike appears to be working. There is some current running through. That's kind of what I was hoping to find. Actually, what I was hoping to find was the top water bite this morning because it was supposed to be cloudy, yeah. but obviously- Yeah, that went away real It's fast. not as cloudy as it was forecast to be, but we've been playing in the canals, I don't know, for maybe 30 minutes total. This is the second canal we've been in. It's got a choke point on it. Current speeds up. There's a little bit of bait fish running around and we've caught two fish in the last five minutes. So in the last hundred yards, 
Nice thing about this chain is there's so many different kinds of water to fish. We got shallow lakes, we got deep lakes, you got docks, you got canals, you got springs. So right now it looks like that at least the canal bite is on. We're gonna keep poking around. There's a hundred canals in here, it seems like. So we at least got plenty of areas to target. But uh, things are going well, even though it's not cloudy, it's not cool, and it's not raining, which is everything it was supposed to be. But uh, stick around. <laughs> Fine. I did teach you how to fish. Fine. Fishing in exactly the same spots I would fish. <laughs> Age before beauty. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's funny too. You know, we've caught two fish, and the two fish that we have caught have been on sponsored baits. <laughs> Which they wouldn't be sponsored if I didn't use them anyway, but they're both friends of mine. CPF Lures is is Chuck, and, and it, the Ditto Swimmer is a trailer on Josh's jig, and I, I'm throwing this uh, floating thumper. <clears throat> and then the jig that the Josh is throwing is made by Seabird Outdoors. Mike, I've known him for 10 years. And so if you guys want to check in the description below, there are discount codes to both of those guys. So check them out. I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't be sponsored by somebody that I didn't truly believe in the baits. I've used them forever anyway. And just in a conversation with Mike that he's offered a discount and the code's in the description and CPF, there's a 10% uh, discount code down in the description as well. So try them. If you don't like them, don't use them. But I, I think they're great baits. They work here in Florida. And, and I, like I say, I've always used them and I will continue to use them. So, all right, so we're in Lulu. It is, what time is it? It is nine o'clock. Been on the water about an hour, 45 minutes. We got two fish. This is our third lake. We stopped here where the channel comes in from ship because it drops off pretty steep. There's been a cormorant out here feeding as we were coming down the channel. And this is where all the water from the chain comes into Lulu and then it goes out over there and becomes the Peace River. So we'll probably wind up over there by the outfall before too long, but right now we're gonna play around here for a bit and see if we can't uh, find some schooling fish, get them to wake up. So we're on lake number four, this is Eloise. Uh, we've still only got the two fish in the boat early this morning, it's uh, 10 o'clock. But we're gonna start fishing some docks, which is the nice thing about this chain is you got a lot of different options. And one thing we haven't done yet today is some dock fishing. So we're going in this residential canal and gonna fish some shady docks and see what happens. So stick around. We're back out on Eloise. The residential canal didn't produce anything but a bite. I'm pretty sure it was a gar. We're working the mouth of a, another canal going into uh, Lake Winterset. I expected the water to be a little cleaner because it's a little like winter sets of spring, but it's still very green. I don't know if it's the pollen that's been in the air or, or what, but we're gonna work down this canal and see if we can't uh, find a few more fish. Getting a little later in the day, it's 11 o'clock, it's getting warm. The cloud cover we were supposed to have didn't materialize. And uh, we're getting hungry. The fish may not be, but we are. So we'll stick around a little longer. Well, it's 11.30. Uh, it got hot. Camera shut down. And then we were besieged by the jet skiers and the water skiers and the tubers. And so we've headed back in. We're back in Lake, in Lake Lulu now, which is pretty nasty and people don't want to get in this water. We were in some really clear water for a little bit, but that's when we got attacked by everybody. So we're back in a fishing lake. Gonna fish our way back to the ramp and uh, hopefully pick up a couple more fish, but we've had a good time. Weather's been decent. Uh, got hot there for a little bit. Now we're getting some cloud cover. So hopefully things will pick up here on our way back in. So stick around. Don't know if I like you referring to that one as the little one. What's that? That was a two pound fish, sir. That was not a little one. That was a nice fish. I think it was on the other side of this bridge. How was it, this one? Because I remember this like weird. Oh yeah, it was this one. This thing came after. What is this? Like a like a wave break or something? It's a box culvert. It's a drainage from somewhere over there.
Oh, there's a bite too. That's a good fish. Come on. I gave him a bunch of flying. That's not in the boat, is it? What's that? That's not in the boat. It's buried. It's got to get us back to it. I still got him. Ow, damn it. Sort of. It's back here, Josh. Don't worry about it. We'll just flip right. him in the boat. I just got to get back to him. Without cutting my line. Ooh. Come here, buddy. Three or four pounds there? Yeah, about three and a half. Right through the nose. On the thumper. Are you gonna measure him? Nah, I don't care. So number three, it's a female, she's putting on some weight. So fishing number three. On the thumper. Thank you. That's exciting. <laughs> Something. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> so we got number three in a boat finally. I don't know if you saw the Amtrak just came by, so anybody can tell exactly where we are. But I pitched over here where I shouldn't have pitched. Not knowing how I was gonna get a fish out if I did get a bite. One of those problems you worry about later and then, well, it became an issue. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's noon. We're about done. We've been fishing this canal, trying to get back through to fish it slowly. There's just been so much boat traffic, it's been tough to do anything with. But anyway, three fish in the boat. Got to see a lot of uh, the Winter Haven chain. We'll be back. We're bringing you along with us next time, too. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.